Hello everyone. Today we're going to take a look at the bio bidet. We're going to do a full installation, my review, and at least one problem that I ran into. Don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video make sure you hit that notification button so that you'll be able to receive notifications on new videos that I add. Also, if you're interested in seeing any new videos, let me know in the comments. Now, let's get started. All right, so here it is. This is the um, bio day that uh, my mom, my wife, got for her Christmas when I came in. There you go. So, clean and comfort. Biobidet Elite. Alright. So, this has the... Uh, move that. Okay, let's turn it over this way. Alright. Dual nozzles. Self-clean. Brass uh, inlet. And uh, double body. Alright, that's it. Got it from Amazon and uh, I'll post the link down below. I did open it before because I needed to look at the instructions. So that's why the package is open. But this is all the products that, that are in there. Just comes with that and then here's the live one. So it has uh, the BioBidet Elite. So it has water pressure. You can you can change the water pressure. Okay, stronger to lighter. Okay, and there you turn it off. And here's your nozzle select. And it's got nice pictures in there so that you can know exactly where you're gonna go. You know what you want to clean. So being up here, this is for your bottom. Over here, this is for the feminine part. And then over here is for the self-cleaning, okay? So this is a nozzle cleaning. Uh, this is for your exterior. And this is for your front, for the women. All right, that's it. Pretty simple system. There's the jets, okay? And I don't think there's anything you need to do to adjust it. See? Just pop, just drops down. This, you, it's got the adjustments here. And Here's the hose, there's the uh, uh, adapter that goes right underneath the toilet, okay, or the toilet the, the, uh, that holds the water. These are for when you, um, if the seat is lifted up from this, uh, you'll have to attach these to the bottom of the seat, okay. This is a spacer. It basically belongs here to help level the seat. This is Teflon tape for your connectors. It's got, uh, it's got this thing about uh, Ender Twin, uh, free, free Biomist or shower head. So there you go. Nice. Don't know if I'll sign, sign up for it, but who knows. Okay, these are the washers. So this one is for this. These two are for the toilet seat. Right? And even though you got these instructions here on how to use it, these got simple instructions on basically how to connect it. It's got that. Tells you how it's supposed to be, how the whole thing is connected. And then this is those for this, in case the seat is raised because of this unit. All right. So this one tells you basically for these washers here, spacers can be put here to level the, the toilet seat. Are the, like, 
just brackets. Um, instructions are pretty simple on how to uh, you know how to connect it. There's all the parts that it comes with, all the dimensions, how to connect it properly. Okay, this is all how, how to connect it. Okay, there's the, 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 the grommet, this one, that's supposed to go right here, then attach to the bottom of the tank, the water tank, that's what it's called. Uh, then you've got the hose, that's going from the from the where the water inlet is goes to there then you attach that piece so we'll show you the whole thing on how to install it so that's pretty much it you got the warrant warranty even tells you how to use it how to clean it okay and uh, if there's a time like say you go on vacation tells you about when you're not going to use it for a short term say you're going to go away for a few days gives you instructions on how to how to deal with that all right so that's it bye everybody all right so now let's go to the bathroom and do the installation all right so now that we're in the bathroom this is the toilet that i'm going to be installing it on now depending on your toilet and it can vary what kind of tools that you're going to need but uh, on this one, fortunately, it's a very limited on tools that are necessary. So, uh, first thing you want it is a pair of gloves. All right. You don't want to get that nastiness all over you. Screwdriver. If you don't have the proper size wrench, use a press wrench. Or if you do have the proper size wrench, you get that one. All right. So... What I found, I've already checked it out. So this piece here, uh, we're looking at. So I don't have the size wrench for this one. I don't really know what size it is supposed to be, but that's why I'm using a crystal wrench. All right. And for the hose, you see that, okay. This particular hose uses a, uh, uh, what is that called? It's a five eighths. See that? Five eighths wrench. So I got that wrench. I just don't have the wrench that's a proper size for the other, for this, for this one. So that's basically that's about the gist of it. So let's get started. All right. So the first thing you want to do, you want to shut the water off. So you want to turn the water valve off. Okay. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to empty the water tank. You want to completely flush it out. Mmm, a wonderful thing. And you just keep flushing it until you get all that water out of it. There you go. Make sure you get rid of all the water that you can. Alright, so that's it. And then, get something to put underneath. A bucket. You can put towels. Paper towels. I got paper towels. Okay. So, and just put it like that. So, the next thing, first thing, next thing you want to do is you want to remove this, this nut, because that adapter is going to go in here. This is going to go underneath, and then the hose is going to come out. All right. So, fortunately, since this is plastic, I believe this is just hand tight. So, <coughs> there it goes. All right. See how you get some water there? So you just let that drain. Definitely hand, handy to put something underneath that'll catch the water. If you don't have anything, I mean, you can always mop it up later. So, let's get all that water out. There we go. I don't want it to be dripping in there or anything. All right, now, next thing. Now, see how it doesn't have a Teflon tape on it? It doesn't need it because you got that. That rubber grommet that's in there goes tight inside. All right, the next thing. So I've got my adapter. All right. Now your your grommet. This is one that's angled. 
right? It's like a, you know, kind of cone shape, right? Okay, and that goes in here, just like that, all right? And then I just want to attach that. And of course, this has got a nut, so you want to take a wrench to that. And you kind of want to have this like out like this, because when it comes out, you want to come have it come around. Right? Okay, now get my wrench. Where did wrench go? I've already adjusted it, so there you go. still leaks if it still leaks and just tighten it some more right I think that will nope. there you go hopefully that's good enough now attach this underneath like this it's got that plastic you really don't want to wrench on there you just hand tight in because again you don't want to break that plastic okay that's good now teflon tape one of the things you can do to uh you know prior to installing that you can take teflon tape and put it on that uh that threaded bib okay you don't have to but it is definitely a lot easier but if you happen to forget like i just did right Yeah, let's mess this one up. We got it, we got it. You don't need much, you only need maybe about two or three turns. Okay, there you go. There we go. <clears throat> Make sure that's not blocking. so long, right? You don't want to get it positioned in such a way that it gets kinked. So what's going to happen is it's going to come out like this, right? There we go. Oh, the lighting's good because it seems kind of dim. I don't know. 
two. Yeah, that is my wrench here. Okay, I better turn off the notifications. <laughs> Just goes to show you don't need a professional to install this very easy all right so that's it now we'll go ahead and leave this here so that when we do turn it on we're going to check it for leaks now let's move to the next thing the bidet all right now that we got that done next thing we're going to do is take the toilet seat off all right so these have the plastic screws plastic screws plastic nut and the type of nut that's on here you don't have to put a wrench to it it automatically it's uh, got like this wing that will go up against the wall of the toilet <laughs> see that Got this little wing and so what it does is hit up hits up against the uh the the wall of the toilet and it stops it so then that way all you need is just a screwdriver really simple stuff brother okay let's set that aside all right take this off Might come in handy to have knee pads or some kind of a foam pad if you can't be on your knees for too long. It kind of hurts after a while. Yeah. Alright, put that aside there. Close that off. Ta da! Nice clean toilet. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, so as you can see, put some Teflon tape. So when you're putting it on, when you're applying Teflon tape, you want to go in the way that it tightens. So since it tightens this way, this is the direction that you want to put the uh, Teflon tape. All right. All right. Now. All right. You put the washers. Not too tight, that's why uh, I tied it too soon. Okay, now make sure it's adjusted. I'll put your back because the 
two pieces right here. And don't help. Okay. That's tight. I really don't have to hold them. Snug. Snug. Yeah. All right. And let me change the angle of the camera and then I'll show you how about uh, installing that hose. All right. Be right back. All right. Let's finish this up. Now, all we need to do is attach this in here. Actually, it's metal, so you don't have to worry about over tightening it. But I guess it is possible to over tighten it so much that that should be good. Okay, now let's time to check for leaks. Just the camera. Here we go. Now I had to mess with it a little bit. Actually, quite a little bit. It took me a couple several hours and had some problems with it. 
But now it's not leaking, it's on. Okay, we can flush the toilet. Okay, so that shows that it's on. It was leaking really bad. It was leaking here. And uh, actually it was mainly leaking here. And then what happened also, there's that insert inside. It got loose. So I had to tighten that up. And uh, just to show you. So this is what it came with. Alright. I don't know if you can see that. So it came with this piece. But I had to take it out. Because what happened was it went. Uh, I tightened it so much. It's actually so too small. And it went inside the uh, the plastic. And so it did not have a seal. And it wouldn't work. So I had to take it out. And I replaced it with one of these. This is for a hose. This is a gasket for a hose. And this works perfect. So in case, in case you ever buy it. The, uh, this bidet from uh, Bio Bidet. Uh, probably might have to change it out with this with something like this or you may have to go to the store and buy something different because this is kind of hokey eh, but it works uh, I got it to work it took me a while it took me about a couple hours to get her to work but got to work it now no leak no leaks at all all right all right so now let's go to the test all right here you go there's your Bio bidet. It's already connected. You open it up. There's the spray nozzle. Everything's all placed the way it should. Looks good. I tested it. Uh, not by sitting on it, but I actually put my hand on it like this. But and then I turned it on. And what ended up happening is it like splashed all over the place. So this has got a lot of power. It's got a lot of power. So now the last part that we're gonna do is I'm going to attach this to here because from the angle that the camera is sitting you can't see uh, that it is actually sloped down and we want to, what we want to do is we want to be able to have it up so much so that it's completely level and according to, now let's see, it's overlapping, so we should have to be too concerned about. So if we place it like this, right? Hopefully, we'll be able to get this right. But the first time. Now this, because this is only a small area, we'll put it like this, okay? So that's basically kind of like what it says to do on the, uh, on the instructions. So as soon as I put this down, it should stick. And there we go. Boom, done. All right, perfect. There you go. That's it, looks good. Angle's good. It's nice and flat, right? And uh, you got the whole set up there. All right, cool. All right, there you go. Now, there's your off button, so it's in the off position, that's your water pressure, the bigger the dot, the more pressure, the smaller the dot, the less pressure, the least pressure, least amount of pressure. Now, looking at the other one, so this one, that's for the feminine part, you know, the front, this is for your bottom, and then this is the cleaning cycle. So there you have it. The Bio Bidet Elite. I'll post the link in the description below to let you know where you can purchase it from. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button for any new content that I post. Also leave a comment. I'd like to know what your thoughts are 
And if you want to see more videos that are like this, if there's anything that you would like to see a review on, make sure you post it down in the comments as well. All right. Thanks. Have a good day.